Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. She was just seven years old when the attack on Pearl Harbor happened. As Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer report, that woman would go on to serve our country in the Korean War. Peggy Grell was raised near Boston and says there were German submarines spotted off the coast of New England. She says she also remembers waving to the troop trains as they rolled out of town. She says at that time everyone did so much to support the war effort. This is my brothers, uh, my heroes. Here. All of Peggy Grell's brothers served in combat during World War II. Thank the Lord they all came back safe. Their patriotism is what inspired Grell to step up. I thought. That's what I should do is I need to go and do my share. Our country was again in war, the Korean War. My dad kissed me goodbye and the only thing he said was be careful. She says while waiting to ship off, her brother surprised her. I tell you it was a happy time for me because I knew then I was getting their blessing and they were rooting for me and so I was very proud of, uh, proud of them to come and see me. Look, at, I'm in my dress uniform out in public for the first time. She says the first time you put on that uniform, it's really something and she still remembers what it meant to see Old Glory fly each day. Marching along with tears in my eyes because the flag does that to me. After air traffic school, Grell had an important task ahead. There hadn't been a woman base operations dispatcher at this base before. So, oh boy. As the first to brief pilots, she often got a hard time. I got used to pranks, and there was plenty of them. Like when they made up names for B-36 bombers. Okay, so I grabbed my paper and pencil, and I'm ready to copy down. He says, it's a B-1RD. Uh, well, guess what, a B-1RD, it's a bird. She says the board that listed she was on duty was often a target. My name was Peggy Landry. But someone had changed it to Leggy Pandry. The same man who was harassing her held onto this slip. Here you see the initials LY and GL. And it was the 18th of January, 1955. The two were married that same year, and she says over the next nearly 50, they did a lot of plain watching. He's just gorgeous. Grill says after so many invites, she finally oh, took the anyway. flight of a lifetime. And I thought, I'm not going until I can honor all of them on the flight. And kind of emotional for me. This token was given to her by a female airman when she returned on the honor flight. A veteran is someone who at one point wrote a blank check made payable to the United States of America. Grell says she is proud to be a veteran and the same one who took the lead from her brothers and joined. Well, that makes, just makes me so proud of them. Has also set quite the example. Her grandson did the same and was aboard nuclear missile submarines. Grell may be a familiar face as she does a lot of volunteering and she's often out at the Eisenhower Airport. She says she feels close to her late husband there since she says they used to sit for hours and just watch planes take off and land. She says she loves to welcome back the honor flights too. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to be here with this week's Veteran of the Week, Peggy Landry Grill. Peggy, thank you for your service with the United States Air Force. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, I want to thank you in behalf of lady veterans and all veterans. And I'm going to forward my donation to the Kansas Honor Flight. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.